Hello learners. Welcome to Byte International English Language, IELTS, TOEFL, JRD, ELT and TESOL programs. This is Amy Alert, Chairman IT and Head of Linguistics, Byte of Bangladesh. As a part of our IELTS 8 plus guaranteed teaching and training course, this video is on IELTS Listening Module Part 4, Question 31 to 40 on educational lecture delivered by our university professor. In this video, I will speak about question patterns, suggested topics, essential tips, techniques, tricks, and grand clues to get 10 on 10 in IELTS listening part 4. So, this video is very helpful to you. Let's get started. Lesson 1. Introduction to IELTS Listening Part 4. IELTS Listening Part 4 is an educational or academic monologue or lecture delivered by a single speaker, university teacher or professor on an academic subject or topic that runs for 8 to 9 minutes and is easily followed by a single category of 10 questions from question number 31 to 40, specially completing notes. In section 4 of the IELTS listening module, you listen to an academic talk or lecture. There is only one speaker. You are given one minute time at the beginning to look through the questions, but there is no pause in the middle of the recording. Because of this, it's particularly important to follow the stages of the lecture properly. At the end of listening part 2, you will be given one minute time to check your answers. Lesson 2. How is IELTS listening part 2 different from other three parts of listening module? IELTS listening part 4 is a little different from other three parts of listening module generally for its high thoughtful context, non-stop audio recording as well as speedier, faster and longer audio listening content. It will be a talk or lecture by one person and unlike other three parts of the listening test, there is no break in the middle. There is no force in the middle to read the questions. In IELTS listening part 2, generally you get one and only item of 10 questions from question number 31 to 40. As I could complete the notes below, write one word only for each answer. Audio listening of part 4 continues for 8 to 9 minutes at one time without stopping or at a stress. Comparatively, total time of listening part 4 is longer than other three parts. The audio speed of part 4 is also faster than that of the other three parts. You therefore need to concentrate very carefully to score goodly in this part. Lesson 3. List of 24 most common topics with questions pattern in IELTS Listening Part 2. In IELTS Listening Part 2, you will get question number 31 to 40 on an educational lecture or monologue as follows. I could complete the notes below. Write one word only for its answer. Uncut. The most common 24 educational lecture or monologue topics are number one, stoicism, number two, health benefits of dance, number three, hand knitting, number four, the extension of the dodo bird, number five, how the Industrial Revolution affected life in Britain. Number 6. Early history of keeping clean. 7. 
agricultural program in Mozambique. Eight, the eucalyptus tree in Australia. Nine, marine renewable energy. Ten, the history of weather forecasting. Eleven, concerts in university arts festival. Twelve, ocean biodiversity. Number 12. Ocean biodiversity. 13. Effects of urban environments on animals. 14. Episodic memory. 15. The sleepy lizard. 16. The hunt for sunken settlements and ancient shipwrecks. 17. Noise in cities. 18. Conflict at work. 19. The effect of environmental change on birds. Number 22. The public discussion on business. 21. The use of soil to reduce carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Number 20. Designing a public building. Number 23. The Taylor Concert Hall. 24. Ethnography in business. Number 25. The history of coffee. And so on. Lesson 4. Is eyes listening part 4 easier or difficult than other three parts of IELTS? and why. To most of the IELTS candidate, IELTS listening part 2 is the most difficult part of the listening test. It's the longest and faster part. It's the most difficult and common specified topic or subject of higher education level or hypothetical educational context. If you ask me which module in us out of full listening is the most difficult from my own practical experience and observation, I will say, of course, as listening part 4 is the most difficult due to its contextual depth faster and longer audio listening as well as non-paused listening content. But if you follow my given below instructions, tips, tricks and grand clues properly and can apply them in the actual IELTS listening test accurately, I believe certainly you will also be able to get 10 and 10 in this part 4 of listening as I have done in my IELTS listening test, although may it be a little tough to some candidates. Lesson 5. A list of 12 most essential techniques, signals and signposts for IELTS listening part 4 that you must remember always. Number 1. Part 4 is an academic talk by own speaker. Number two, academic lectures are usually structures like instruction, main points, examples, etc. Three, notice when the speaker moves from one main point to another. Four, follow the structure of the talk to keep your place in the audio. Five, academic Talks contains academic vocabulary, so you have to develop academic vocabulary skill. 6. Don't try to understand everything. 7. Focus on listening for answer only. 8. Predict the types of answer you need to listen for. 9. Listen out for paraphrases. 10. For this type of question, answer will come in orders. 11. Make notes as you listen. 12. In this part of listening, you will have to answer 10 questions, question number 31 to 40. 
listening the whole audio content at the time and on only without any break. Lesson 6. Four important tips and tricks for us listening part 4. As listening part 4 is regarded as the most difficult part in the listening test because it requires students to finish the questions after playing the whole recording once only. In this part, you need to complete a note or fill a form first and then do other five multiple choice questions. It's also likely to include other such as sentence completion questions, though most of the recent tests, all the 10 questions are given as one item is specially completed notes or forms. The recording of us listening part two is usually an academic talk about a certain subject such as geography, environmental science, biology, social science, medical science, and history, which makes this part even more difficult. Let's take a look at the base section for while listening tips to help you succeed on test day. Tips 1. Allocate time wisely. It's an important step to wisely allocate your time in the listening part 4. At the beginning of the listening, you will have one minute to read the questions. Try your level best to read all the questions sincerely within the time one minute. If you can't finish reading the section for questions before starting the audio listening, please overview quickly the number of questions as well as the blanks and gauge your answer. Getting familiar with the questions in advance helps you to concentrate on the recording. Tips 2. Circle keywords. When you are reading the questions, circle the keywords. The keywords refer to the most important information in the questions. Some keywords are easy to identify such as an academic term or a name Others are subtle or difficult. You need to listen carefully for the keywords in the recording. As for example, American boys drop out of school at a higher rate than girls because A. They need to be in control of the way they learn. B. They play video games instead of doing schoolwork. C. They are not as intelligent as girls. The keywords in the question is drop out of school and the keywords in the choices are control the way they learn, video games, and intelligent. Then just pay attention to these words or the paraphrased forms while listening. Tip 3. Predict the answer. Sometimes you can predict the answer based on the given information especially in table form sentence completion questions. Let's take the following question as an example. According to the given information, question 31 should be another way to think about times based on the past. Since the first way is positive, we can predict that the question 31 is also a descriptive adjective. Also based on the features and consequence, the second way may be the opposite of the positive outlook. Therefore, the answer is very likely to be negative. Tips 4. Practice repetition and replication. To get prepared for us listening part 2, you can do practice tests as well as listen to academic talks from various websites, books, etc. like Cambridge IELTS series, IELTS to success or prepare for IELTS and you can practice them repeatedly. Lesson 7. 5 most essential hints and grand clues for IELTS listening part 4. Number 1. Listen to the introduction and instruction and audio 
properly to be able to recognize the lecture topic well and voice of the speaker clearly. Number two, while focusing on the underlying keywords in the question, it's also important to understand the question because some of the keywords in the options or the completing options itself may be paraphrased in the audio. In part four of us listening, you will be given one minute time for overview. Using one minute to get an overview of the section would help you to familiarize yourself with the questions. So use this one minute time very sincerely, accurately and properly. Grand close four. Remember that while listening to the audio, you have to be quick enough to move your eyes over all the questions as well as options so that you are aligned with the audio and there is no chance of skipping a question. Grand Clause 5. Lastly, do remember that information in the audio always flows in the same order as the order of the question. So, you have to be continuously going on by immediately moving to the next question instead of looking back for an skipped question or unsure marked answer. Now, I'm going to discuss six most essential do's and don'ts. Let's begin. Lesson 8, six most essential do's and don'ts. Number one. Highlight keywords such as names or phrases in the question stems to listen out for during the reading of questions. Number two, for tables with dates, listen carefully for the years in the period so you can keep track of where the lecture is. Number three, have your eyes on two questions at the same time. If you miss on this may prevent you getting lost as you will hear the next one. Number four, don't worry about spelling grammar as you answer during listening. You can correct this as you transfer your answer at the end of the test. Five, read the instructions carefully and don't write more words than instructed. No more than two words means it could be on or two words. 6. At the end of the listening part 2, you will have one minute to check your answers. At that moment, check that what you have written fits in the space grammatically. Use this minute properly to improve your answer correct. B words. Now, I'm gonna speak about why most of the candidates score badly in us listening part 4. Lesson 9. Why most of the candidates score badly in us listening part 4? You must remember that during us listening test, you are not only listening, at the same time you have to read questions sincerely and also write answer very carefully. At the same time, you have to use your sight or vision, hearing or auditory, vestibular or balancing of your body, physical movement, complete concentration with patience and perseverance, as well as kinesthetic skills together like you are driving a car speedily on a busy road where any accident may occur anytime if you commit even a little or single mistake or lose your attention or concentration. Generally, the IELTS Listening Module Part 2 aims at testing, evaluation and assessing knowledge, ability, skills and calibration of non-native candidates based on how much they are able to understand British, Australian and Canadian native speakers lecture, presentation, speech, accent and setting so that they can make meaningful communication with them during working or studying in English native speaking countries abroad, especially in higher education level. 
viewers in my next video on IELTS listening I will say about how you will get IELTS 9 band score in listening module thank you